that night. <laughs> we got it. Thank you, sir. And in the morning. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Congratulations Sex. to you. Sex. <laughs>
Honestly, I think you should go easy on her. No, I didn't mind helping Jim with his problem. You're awesome. That's what helped Phyllis all the time. Just yesterday, I untangled a piece of tape from her hair. So, yeah. Look at you being a soldier. Seems from that photo that you two, you've entered into an intimate relationship. That photo is my personal property, and if you are telling me that you went on my computer and stole that photo, then I'm going to call the cops. I call the cops. People emailed me that photo, including my ex-wife, and we don't talk. No. <laughs> Just two like souls having a romantic time in the most romantic place on earth. This guy said, weirdo. All right, thanks, Michael. Okay. Okay, we only get three hours, people. He'll call you back. Okay. Great. That's hilarious. I think she bought it. <laughs> oh my god, they didn't blow it up. They did. No, Kevin. A woman. Maybe Jan, maybe Ergo Groove. My point is that if you get it, I would ask that you just delete it. Sign on scene. Let's be professional. Alright? It's not gonna happen. It's over. Jan calls. She's coming in later to talk to you. Oh. Did she say what it's about? <laughs> That's all she said. <laughs> Let me take a guess. I can't believe he did this. It's not true. Anything he does, I believe it. 100%. Except sleep with Jan. How'd that happen? He was being ridiculous. Yeah. But thanks. Seriously. Sure. I really wish this work would work out, but it isn't. They're gonna hate each other. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Did this to you? Where is he? No, oh, that's adorable. It's not. It's nothing. I think he liked Pam that much. That's sweet. It's hot in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Look at Dwight's face. Don't say anything stupid. Is your PMSing pretty bad? Huh? <laughs> He's trying. That's what counts. It's the goddamn effort. He still has beads in his hair? Jesus. Hello, Michael. Ah. Hi, Jan. You look... tan. Very subtle, sir. I would like to speak with you in your office, okay. please. Yep. <coughs> Walk of death. Well, this ain't the green mile. I forgot what they were yelling. There's a dead man walking? Why am I here? In the last year, I've gone through a divorce, an identity theft, a husband Jesus. who would not communicate. This is neither here nor there. My psychiatrist thinks that I have some self-destructive tendencies. You certainly point. fucking do. Yeah. This is the thing. You know, I am attracted to you. I, I, I don't know why. I, Same. But I am, and I need to follow my instincts. At least that's what Dr. Perry thinks. Dr. Perry's an idiot. You're wrong for me, in, in every way, but oh, I still find myself wanting to. Oh my god. And I, to you, in addition, feel. <laughs> the Don't mention the picture. Oh my god. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Smooth. Thanks for coming by. So, Get I, her out of here, as fast as possible. Packer's gonna call. Well, thanks for coming over. I appreciate it. Mm. Jan. Shut up. You complete me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus. I can't believe this worked out somehow. I don't even understand. I don't have a lot of art. I have the faintest idea of how that worked out. But none of that should have worked. She shouldn't be with Michael. I was gonna say I felt bad for her, but I remembered that season two, when he spills the beans, 
at that uh, manager's conference, and then he has to talk his way out of it with the uh, big boss and save Jan's job, which she does, and save his own job, which she does. Um, but then she kisses him again. I said, at that moment, anything that happens to her is completely her fault. You escaped the fucking gorilla cage once. You ended up back in it. I can't feel bad for you. How'd you slip into the gorilla cage twice? It's impossible. She jumped back in. She jumped back in again. Deeper into the cage. In a relationship with the fucking gorilla. Jesus. That guy looked kind of dark. Sounds like a clan rally. Anyway. Um, that was episode 11 of season 3 of The Office. It was a great episode. It was that. It was hysterical. Uh, all the Michael stuff is great. In the worst ways possible. Just watch him squirm. Be the worst of the worst. That should not have worked on any level. Forget the fact that he sent it to packaging. If he sent it to Packer, it would have been just as bad. Yet he wins. And yet I'm strangely happy that he won. I don't get it. I must be like Jan. I have self-destructive tendencies. What a great psychiatrist that is. Indulging your self-destructive tendencies. Put it on a t-shirt. I think that's what this whole man said. Indulging your self-destructive activities. Holy shit. Um, Pam. Oh, I hurt. I hurt more than it should have. I don't, I don't know what I want from these... How many are involved now? Four? I don't know what I want from these four people. Except, just be happy, I guess. Don't indulge in your self-destructive activities. Don't, one could argue what Pam just did. Karen Jim's not gonna work. It can't work. That's not how shows go. But, um, it's nice to see it work out for a little while. And look at Dwight. I didn't think consider him so protective of Pam. That was adorable. I'm here for it. I approve. Anyway, uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. 